Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Can you see this unique tree over here? You can see many such trees are present in this place. Millions of these trees are found in the mountainous regions of the island of Mauritius. This tree is very different. If we press down with our hands, it leaves an impression just like when we press down on a barn. It is very smooth. If you ask what is so different about this tree, they call it the paper tree. They peel its bark and make paper from it. Such trees are found in abundance over here. It is a useful tree. As we peel its bark, it regrow its bark. They make a lot of paper from it. This is a unique tree. I have seen this kind of tree only in this place. Are you asking what word does the Lord tell me today in Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 5? The Lord gives a promise. For I, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around her and I will be the glory in her midst. This is a promise that the Lord gives the children of God. The Lord says I will be a wall of fire around you wall of fire why is a wall constructed isn't it for protection walls are built to keep anyone from entering and harming us when we build a house we build a compound wall as well and when a factory is constructed a higher compound wall is built in those days to protect a city very high walls were built out of stone i have seen walls that are hundred feet tall the wall of Jerusalem is like that. It is built to protect that city. All these are built with stones, cement or bricks. The Lord says, I will be a wall of fire around you. What does that mean? The Lord says, no one can enter, no one can touch you. I remember during the beginning days of my ministry, that is in the 70s, I learned about an incident that took place. At that time, there was a young girl in a particular city in Tamil Nadu. She was studying in college. She was a saved and anointed girl. She was a beautiful girl. She walked with the Lord God. When she was returning from college, she had to get down from the bus and walk home alone. Some of the young men who noticed this had inappropriate desires towards her. And one day, they kidnapped her in a car. They kidnapped her in a lonely place and locked her in a house that was outside that city. They shut all the doors and windows and said, let's go and come back in the night. There were two, three young men. They locked this girl in that room with the wrong intentions. The girl saw that the windows and doors were completely shut. She couldn't see the outside. She didn't know where she was exactly. Even if she makes noise, no one will hear it. She was in great danger. She thought these boys have done this with wrong intentions. Fear entered her. In some time, the Holy Spirit gave her courage. Don't be afraid. I am with you. She knelt down in that room and she began to pray in tongues, being filled by the Holy Spirit. Now all her fear left her at once. No one can touch me. My God who protects me is there for me. In the night, those young men came there, drunk and intoxicated, and opened the door. What they saw there made them tremble. They saw a fire burning around her. She stood on her knees and continued praising in tongues. There was fire around her. The Lord God protected her as a wall of fire. When they saw it, fear came into their hearts. They trembled, fell at her feet and said, Forgive us, you have received a special power. We will take you back safely with fear and trembling. They brought her to the doorstep of her house and left. My dearly beloved, what I am saying now is an incident that actually happened. I heard it from a man of God who knew about this incident. This is true. Even today, the Lord is a wall of fire around his children. He will not let anyone come near you who can get through the wall of fire. No man, devil or sorcery powers can get through it. He is promising you this today. I will be a wall of fire around you. 
Do not worry, do not fear. Our good Lord God always keeps and fulfills His promise. So all you need to do is just say happily, Dear Lord, the world that we live in is filled with evil, jealous people, suffering and affliction, but praise you for being a wall of fire around me and continuously protecting me. Didn't the Lord put a wall of protection around Job and his family and all that he had? The Lord is like a wall of fire around your relatives, family and everything else. Just give him praise and you will see miracles. Dear Lord, you are a God who puts a wall of protection around us, our family and all that we have. Praise you for your love that protects us with a wall of fire. Nothing can harm us. In the name of Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.